Due to the new clan war, you have to right now grind achievements. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to grind every single achievement the fastest way possible. All right guys, so what's going on? It is Distinct and we are once again back with another YouTube video. This one's gonna be a bit of a late upload. You guys might see this at like 6 p.m. Western time. But um, yeah guys, we're gonna be showing you exactly how you're gonna be able to go ahead and grind every single achievement as the new clan war kind of requires you to do that. As you guys can see the achievement battle is it's complete the most achievements you have 10 days left and you know we're not in the we're, we're, we're a top clan right but we're obviously not the best so this might not be the best method but it'll be the best method in my opinion all right so the first achievement you guys can go ahead and do is the balloon popper achievement this one's gonna be one of the harder ones but all you have to do is take your slingshot from your inventory when you reach rebirth number three and when you see balloons in the sky, you're gonna go ahead and shoot at them and pop them. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, find one so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, and here we are, our first balloon. Let's go ahead and go in first person, shoot it down. And yeah, once we break it, we go ahead and get a gift bag and one more point towards the achievement. So with this achievement, you do have to go ahead and do it multiple times. So just rinse and repeat that process a bunch of times over and you should be able to complete this quest. All right, and going down the line, we have the breakables quest. This one's super easy. All you have to do is just break a bunch of these things right here. So if I just put my pets on it, as you guys can see, it should start to increase. Now, mine is completed already, but yeah, this is all you have to do. You just have to break these. The easiest way to do this is to go to an area where you know you can break stuff instantly. So like area number one, and you can kind of just let your pets chill on here and you can, I don't know, throw on like a hasty flag so it goes quicker. And yeah, you'll start to break a bunch of breakables. Uh, I have my huges on right now, but if I turn all my pets on, look at that. We're breaking these things super quick. And uh, you guys will be able to do the exact same thing, assuming you guys are pretty far into the game. And that's all you really need to do for uh, this achievement to be completed really fast. All right, guys, and moving on into one of the harder quests. This one's going to take you a really long time to complete, but it is the break 1500 big chest, 5,500 and 150. Now I can't show you exactly what you need to do because it's gonna take way too long. So what I've decided to do instead of showing you what to do is I'm gonna link a video in the description from a YouTuber that knows exactly how to automate it. Uh, Cause I can't show you the entire tiny tasking process right now. But yeah, if you wanna know where all the chests are, there's gonna be one ch big chest in area number 20 that you can break. It should be right here in the corner. Go ahead and break that. And there should be another one somewhere around area number 41 okay well a little bit further on it's a bit over here yes yeah, so the big chest is right there big chest number two this one is in area number 46 and there is a one in number 70 area number 70 will be a big chest right here go ahead and break that and the final big chest is in area number five heaven's gate and let's go ahead and break this it's gonna take a little bit longer and there we go we went ahead and broken all four big chests and what you guys want to go ahead and do is leave the game and rejoin a new game because it will go ahead and respawn the big chest back in for you okay and the next quest is breaking 5,000 comets now Comets, how this works is whenever you break one comet, it goes ahead and gives you two points. So all you really need to do, guys, is you need to go ahead and get yourself 2,500 comets. By the way, they're expensive right now. I'm pretty sure they're 1,000 each. But once you go ahead and get yourself 2,500 comets, I'd recommend going into a lower level area so you can break them instantly. But if you do want to reap the rewards from using them, you can go ahead and go to the last area over here. And if you do that, it should take you no time at all. This one took me about seven hours, and I know that sounds like a long time but three extra points is three extra points all right and next we have mini chest mayhem and just like with the big chest i can't show you how to automate this one but all you're gonna need is a chest mimic book or diamond chest mimic and you'll go ahead and get some points for it it does take a long time so this one's definitely gonna be a hard one for you but if you use the mini chest ones you can get them pretty fast all right and now we have breaking 1200 pinatas or 1250 we also have the 250 and 4000 all you guys have to do for this one is break pinatas super simple they're expensive too so guys you know you're gonna have a hard time getting these ones. 
but if you get your hands on some pinatas, go ahead and break them with a few friends. They give two points each per pinata, so you're only gonna need about 3,000 pinatas to complete this entire quest line. And that's an extra three points for the clan war. All right, and next we have the jar factory, and it says fill 5,000 coin jars. This one's super easy. All you guys have to do is go to area number 25. By the way, I'm telling you this because it's the exact spot that we did it at. Go to area number 25, put your pets on, make sure they're on, and go ahead and start placing down coin jars. If you have more than four people here, these coin jars will uh, instantly break, so that which means like the coin jar will fill up immediately, and you'll get one coin jar every two seconds. Basically, what I'm saying is this coin this coin jar quest will be done so fast, super easy. You guys will be able to do it for yourself with no time needed at all. Okay, now that we're done with that one, we now have the pet incubator quest. This one's super easy, like literally it's self-explanatory. All you have to do is just enroll pets into the daycare. The daycare is in area number, what is it? Is it 20? Yeah, it's in area number 20. Go to the daycare and go ahead and enroll some pets if you guys have not already. Then go ahead and claim them, and when you claim them, it will add points to this achievement. Just to let you guys know, for the clan war, these uh, two quests right here, they are impossible. You cannot do them within the time limit. You guys can go ahead and try, but it's not going to work. All right, next we have the Is It Real quest. We're just gonna skip over that. It's impossible. It is a dev spawn huge. The next one, though, is the Cod Father. The Cod Father is super simple, too. Go ahead and come over to area number 76. I believe. Okay guys, and I seem to be an idiot because that is not where it is. Okay, I'm at area number 92. Area number 92, come to the advanced fishing zone. You can also do this in normal fishing. Normal fishing is like area number 30 or something. And with your diamond rod or whatever other fishing rod you get from the merchant over here, go ahead and cast your reel out just like this. Then once it shows up, go ahead and tap a bunch of times. And once you are finished, Tapping, it will give you an item and that'll be one reel and uh, you got to do it a few thousand times All right, so good luck if you guys want to automate this one too You can use tiny task tiny task is used by everyone by the way It is a trusted source and by using tiny task you should be able to automate fishing All right now that we're out of the fishing zone. Let's see here. We have the placing down 5,000 flags So this one was a little bit bugged because people were like well, how do I place them down? It's not counting so the way that the flags work now is whenever you put the flags down and the timer runs out, that's one flag placed down and used. Now it matters by how many you use. So if you're in a server, go ahead and place down 25 flags just like that. And when all 25 flags run out of time, it will give you 25 points for the flags. And essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all the flags you have and you're gonna place 25 down in every area because if they all finish at the same time, you're gonna get 2,100 points for the for all 100 areas. Go ahead and rinse and repeat that three times and you'll have the place down 5,000 flags quest completed alongside the ceremony and team player quest. All right, now we have the claim 1,500 gifts. I'm not even gonna spend much time on this one. Go ahead and exit out of this. Go to the free gifts in the, uh, what is it, top left and go ahead and just claim these and whenever they're available for you go ahead and claim them again and that's how you complete this one also this one's time gated this is impossible to do right now so you cannot do it uh, within the time that you have the next one is also self-explanatory all you have to do is eat fruit go to pets go to items and just munch on these fruits eat as many as you guys can I'm gonna try and eat a few right now actually uh, and I already completed this one too this one doesn't take too much time just eat your fruits whenever they are uh, out as you guys can see in the bottom left it shows me the timers on the fruits and how long they have until they run out and then I can go ahead and replenish it by eating another fruit all right the next one we have is mad scientist this is the fusing quest there's two of these right here all you guys have to do is come to area number 28 and at area number 28 you'll be able to fuse some of your pets over here okay so all you have to do is take your pets let's just type in griffin and go ahead and fuse any amount it could just be five and once you fuse one time it will go ahead and add a singular point to the mad scientist quest or the fusion frenzy all right so i've decided to combine these two quests together it is the gold 7500 pets and the rainbow 5000 pets super easy guys all you have to do is come up to the thing and just rainbow rainbowfy all the pets you got once you do this one just come over to the gold and go ahead and rainbow 7500 pets i mean sorry gold i don't, I don't have to, i don't have too many right now but yeah well, just for example 7500 there we go done and just like that we'll have the uh two quests completed all right now we have the i got the magic quest where you need to use the magic machine 450 times go over to area number 77 and once you are here go ahead and get yourselves some magic shards you can get them from fishing or from the trading plaza and uh, go up to the machine here and go ahead and craft something just like that and that will count as you using the magic machine one singular time 
just rinse and repeat that 449 more times and you'll go ahead and complete these two achievements all right next we have redeem merch codes this one's super easy go over to the big games uh website or go to walmart and you should be able to go ahead and buy yourself some dlc codes by buying one and redeeming one in game you'll go ahead and complete this achievement and if you do it 25 more times you'll also be able to get the super haul and the unboxing pro all right and the next quest we have is the merchant quest let me go ahead and go over to uh area number 39 and as you guys can see it says purchase 2500 items from merchants so it doesn't matter what merchant you guys do by the way we can go to the advanced one here just go ahead and pick up everything this guy's selling let's go ahead and buy all of it and yeah while we're at it let's go to the flower field too because there's also a merchant there so yeah let's go ahead and buy all the stuff from this merchant and once we buy the stuff from here we can go ahead and go to area number 19 for the final merchant or actually no there's is there five? I'm pretty sure there's six merchants. Five or six merchants. Go ahead and buy from this person. And there should also be a snowball merchant. Not sure why that guy exists. But yeah, he's he's just there to look pretty, guys. Don't worry. But yeah, in this area right here, what is this? Area number 63. This merchant as well. Let's go ahead and sell him out. Uh, okay, well, I mean, this right here is just a little outrageous. But I'll buy it anyway for the video. And uh, yeah, we've went ahead and uh, sold out every single merchant. And that'll be some extra points towards that. Okay, and now we have the opening 70... I mean, sorry. 750,000 eggs this one is another easy one all you have to do is come to area number one and it doesn't matter what egg you open just open 750,000 total eggs pretty sure you have to open up uh yeah you have to open up 250k right here 90k 25k and 5k these ones don't take long by the way if you have uh, as many egg hatches as me i have 84 this quest will literally take one day i open up a million i open way over a million overnight and uh shiny same with the shiny one right here shiny and uh, uh the egg hatching they both tie in with each other if you guys have a good shiny loadout you can go ahead and do it i have a solid shiny loadout so if you guys get yourself like three shiny books and a bunch of lucky eggs you should be able to complete this one pretty quick too all right and now we have the orb god quest and the orb god quest is super easy you need a certain uh book loadout for it though to complete it fast and the book loadout you need is going to be okay so the book loadout is gonna look a little something like this you're gonna need four or we know is it five you need five coin books doesn't matter what rarity you need one party time one magnet three and one fortune book and essentially what this does is by you going over here and turning these on you'll get as many orbs as you possibly can oh yeah and i forgot to tell you guys something so i know so many of you guys probably have this off and it's probably limiting how many orbs you're getting but if you go to pets and you come to settings reduce orbs if this is on this means that you're getting way less orbs than you're supposed to make sure this is off and when you turn that off you're gonna notice you're gonna get like a thousand orbs every few seconds i mean look at this Look how many orbs we're going up by. And this is with all the coin things too. I have my coin potion on as well to help me with this. And yeah, we are just increasing by thousands and thousands of orbs. All right, and now we have the upgrade 5,000 enchants and upgrade 7,500 potions. We're gonna do these ones together. Super simple. Go to area number 13 and area number 16 for these ones. And all you have to do is combine 7,500 potions together. I do not have enough right now. I've already completed the quest too, but if you have around 15K potions uh, and you merge them together, you should be able to complete this quest. And the same thing is said for the enchants you need about 10,000 enchant books but if you have 10,000 enchants and you merge them together you will be able to complete this one too alrighty guys and finally for the final quest vend and repeat all you have to do is go around the map and buy everything from the vending machine sell them out completely and rinse and repeat this process until you have done every single vending machine quest. This one takes a little bit of time and the vending machines uh, restock every five minutes. But after the five minutes are up, go ahead and come back to the vending machines so that you can buy all the stuff out of them. Woo! Okay, that was a lot of achievements to go over. But yeah, we have completely finished all of the achievements you guys needed to know about. And I just want to tell you guys right now, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. I need to know now. Wait, hold on a minute. Is that... Are there two queens? Uh, I, uh, this is a weird outro. Oh yeah, and if you guys have not already, make sure to subscribe if you guys want to tell me if you enjoyed this video to the fullest. But I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out, boys. And girls, and girls, sorry.